Chapter 4 in Desiring God is called Love, the Labor of Christian Hedonism. A lot of people wonder, if you devote yourself to pursuing your own happiness in God all the time, which I'm saying you should, won't you become wrapped up in yourself and not be a loving person? And, and my answer is biblically, absolutely not. In fact, I argue that if you stop pursuing your joy in God, you can't love other people. Um, when Paul says to the elders in Acts 20, uh, 35, uh, it is more blessed to give than to receive. He's saying there's more happiness in extending yourself and giving yourself to others than there is in seeking to have them serve you. That's because our joy in God is designed by God to expand as it folds other, others into it. Sometimes people would say, well, if you're loving me for your pleasure, how am I not manipulated? How am I not abused or used? And the answer is because what I'm really seeking my joy in is your inclusion in my joy. So when it says, for example, in 2 Corinthians 9, 7, God loves a cheerful giver, not a sad giver. He's saying you must pursue your joy in giving. And the reason is because people feel more loved when you serve them gladly than when you serve them begrudgingly, don't you? You feel more loved if somebody comes to you and helps you and says, it's my pleasure, than if they say, I didn't want to be here, but I have to be because I'm a Christian and I'm supposed to do these kinds of things. Nobody feels loved like that. And so I really do believe that pursuing our joy in God and the expansion of our joy in others' joy in God is the key to love.